They are 14 paired able low class consonant. So this class or these consonants is basically pair or sound like the high class consonants. So let's have a look. What are they? Welcome back to Learn Thai with Mod with me, Crew Pair. If you would like to speak Thai like a Thai and sound like a native, you are at the right place. Before we start today's lessons, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Learn Thai with Mod, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Learn Thai with Mod. Welcome to the last episode of Thai Consonants. From the previous video, we have learned the classes of consonants in Thai, right? You probably remember the middle class, high class, and the low class. So in low class consonants, remember from the previous video, I told you that we have two different groups or two classes. We have paired able and unpaired able. So we have learned the paired able, no, unpaired able already. So today, come to the last one, the last episode, which is unpaired able low consonant. So let's have a look, what are they? Before we start today's lesson, I would like to invite all of you to join our online group class via Zoom. Either you want to start from zero or you want to take your time to the next level, we can help you. We offer online classes via Zoom, you can learn Thai Comfortably at home, you have to leave home to go to school. We have for beginner, intermediate, or you know all the levels that you would like to join. But if you're not sure which level or which class you you join, so please don't forget to write us to this email to get a free assessment test, and we can help you to find which class is suits your best. And I will see you in my class. The first one is call. Kwai, ko kwai. Like the example of the ko kwai word, like of course, buffalo, kwai, kwai. You see, it's got like ku, ku, kwai. Or kon, kon, like people. Or kam, kam, which means word. And the second consonant is ko kon. Ko kon, this is similar, well, exactly same sound with ko kwai because both are k, like k sound. But ko kon, we don't use much anymore, you know, in Thai writing. Usually the word with k, like k sound, we use ko kwai. So ko kon, we don't using that much. And the third one is ko rakang. Ko Rakang. So basically, ko kwai, ko kon, ko rakang. These three consonants is same sound, k, like k sound. You know, rakang, rakang is bell. And again, we don't really have a lot of word using this letter much. And the fourth one of the paired able low class low class consonant is sha chang. You know, like the word cha, to like, right? Cha, like ch. Or yes, chai, chai, or name, shu, shu. The next consonant is so, 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 so. The example of the word using so, so, like to buy, su, su, or bad luck, suai, suai, or to fix, sum. Some. And the sixth one is sha she. Sha she. And we don't really use this consonant much as well. Like the name of the consonant, sha she. She, this is the old word for tree, you know, which is now the day we don't really call she, right? We say ton mai. So sha she. And the seventh one is ta pu tao. Ta pu tao. So Tao, you see the example word Tao, this is mean old, you know, like the, the old word for old. Now today we usually use Ge, right? So this is Ta Pu Tao. Next consonant is Ta Mon To, Ta 
Monto. You probably don't see the word with this consonant that much because it's kind of old uh, consonant that nowadays we don't really use it that much. The examples of the word using Ta Monto is Monto, like the name of the consonant itself. Monto, this word is the name of the character in one of the Thailand's national epics. So Monto is the beautiful female in the story yeah and the uh, another example of the word that using to monto is monton 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 means province using in uh, some specific country like for example in china yeah like monton monton yunnan so translate to english could be province and the other word the other example word of using Tho Mon Tho is Gri Tha Gri Tha This word means athletics So yeah, this is the example of the word using Tho Mon Tho Number 9 is Tho Thahan Tho Thahan This sound is again makes T sound But the example words using this consonant is Thailand Thai Thai or to do or to make tham tham or the word for at t t see it's got like the t sound to tahan and number 10 is to tong to tong like the word for flag like just like the name of the consonant to tong so tong is mean flag the 11 one is Pa pan, pa pan. So the example words of uh, the word that using pa pan, like the word for older, when you want to call someone older, the title, p, p, right? P, p, or ready, ready, prom, prom, or to take a rest, pak, pak. And the 12 is for fun, for fun. Of course, the example like the word for tea is just like the name of the consonant, fun, fun, right? Or to listen, to listen in Thai we say fang, fang. And the sky, fa, fa. You see it's got the F, the F, F sound, for fun. All right, come to number 13. Number 13 is Pa Sam Pao. Pa Sam Pao. So the example of the word that using Pa Sam Pao is the word for wife, which is Panraya. Panraya. You see, like P. And the last one, 14, is Ha No Hu. Ha No and the example word I can think of now is the word for owl, which is the name of the consonant, which is no hu, no hu. All right, so those are the 14 paired able low class consonants. Here we go. So now you know all the 44 consonants. Do you remember them all? <laughs> all right. So after you remember the consonants, you know, what the sound is made, and then you can try to put together with the vowel, and then you can build up the word. All right, it sounds easy, right? So if you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to leave it here and stay tuned for the next episode of reading and writing lessons. I hope you enjoy this lesson. And again, if you'd like to improve your Thai language skill, please don't forget to write us to this email to get a free assessment test. You can learn Thai fun and comfortable with your new friends from all over the world so i would like to see you in my class and see you again next video thank you for watching สวัสดีค่ะ